everybody, welcome back to my channel, Share XP. Today I'm going to cover OpenShot and hopefully provide you some guidance on a glitch that occurs when moving files around in this program. It's a nice free video editor, but it is not without issues. I've created an example video for you here that's very simple, just a couple layers and a couple project files. Now if you shuffle these around at all, and move something, say, from your desktop to another folder, uh, it's gonna create some issues for you with this software. I'm gonna create a folder for you here. We'll just call it Problem Child because this is a problem that you are having if you're watching my video. Now, these two video files were included in my example video. We have Drink Video and Headset Video. They're just clips from other videos that I've made on my YouTube channel. Now, if you happen to take one of those and move it to a different location, other than where it was when you dragged and dropped into your video, it'll pop up with a little dialog box like this, this annoying dialog box. Missing file, the drink video cannot be found. Okay, the easiest solution, if you know where you moved your file to, you just hit okay, Oh, there it is, problem child. Select folder, and the problem is solved, at least for this uh, minor situation. Let's upgrade to a major situation. Let's say you accidentally were cleaning up your desktop and accidentally put this guy in the recycle bin and removed it completely. So we're going to do that. We're going to go all the way here. It's gone, no. All right, so we open up example video and we're hit probably with the same dialog box. Now, what I'm going to do for you is just provide a substitution. This video titled Yellow Shirt, appropriately, because I'm wearing a yellow shirt. Um, we're gonna get past all this, just hit cancel, 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 or just hit the X and it will get you to your content, but it will not provide that video file that's been missing since you delete it, you big dummy. <laughs> uh, we're going to provide a substitution. We're gonna name yellow shirt. We're gonna call it drink video. Oops. Oh yeah, let's make sure we have all the right uh, punctuation, capitals, and all that. If you substitute a video like this, it'll bypass all those dumb little dialog boxes, but it won't actually get you your file back. All it does is when you open this, instead of having to deal with all this nonsense, it says drink videos there now, but it's not, it's, it's the yellow shirt video. <laughs> as you can see uh, by my dopey face. Um, the cool thing about this, what I've done is I've made it so you don't have to jump through those dialog boxes. Having to click cancel every single time is super annoying. This is how you'll feel. <laughs> what the heck is going on, open shot? Uh, anyways, what it does is it buys you time, saves you time, so you can hopefully find that file again if you just simply moved it or if it's something you can re-download again, like an MP3 file or something off the internet, and get back to your original video. That's all I'm doing, uh, and I hope that you can find that file. In the meantime, uh, thank you very much for watching my video. Hopefully this was educational. If it helped you out, uh, hit the subscribe button, or you know, throw me a like, get me to the top of the search results. I'd appreciate that. Uh, thank you very much. Enjoy the rest of your day. Take it easy.